take my leg that's closest to his head and I'm gonna come down and then peel it up and over. So I peel his arm away from him, okay? If, if you feel like you need to or if you want to, I can double grip so that I have both feet wrapped around his, his arm here. Or if I, you know, if you feel strong enough with just the one. Now, if it's a big, strong person, keep this head here. If it's a big, strong person and it feels like you're gonna throw me here, okay? All I do is I open my knees and lower my hip. Okay, so now I'm much heavier this way for him. Okay, now the second part is I want this arm. If he's framing me here, all I really have to do is switch and I have his arm already. So from here, I'm gonna use my head and both arms, okay? And I'm gonna lean out this way. So I push down with my face, I switch, or I push with my head, and I switch if he gives me that side. If he tries to fight and straighten his arm, I rotate, grab the thumb side of his hand, make sure my forearm is under his elbow, and now I do this. If I need to, I'll use my head and come out farther, okay? If he still has mobility and is able to bend it, I keep it, make sure he doesn't touch his body with that, and then I swim under, and I'll use my head to pin it, and I switch my hands. So essentially what I'm doing with my hands is this, okay? And I'm using my head at the same time to do it. Now from here he goes back and he straightens, so I can straight arm bar him here, he tries to bend it back up. I do the same thing, I pin, use my head, switch my hands, okay? To finish, I bring this elbow down and in, okay? This one I come out. Now with all of this, if I get to any of these points and I feel like I don't quite have enough strength. I can always come out over the top of him, okay? This way, this way, and I'm gonna push my knees back into him while I'm trying to finish this arm here, okay? The other thing is, if he does the Kimura and I block and I get to here and I feel like I could finish it, what I'll do is I'll switch my feet so my bottom leg is over his arm and then I step with my knee over. I don't wanna step with my foot because then he can still raise up higher, okay? So I step with my knee so I'm still pretty low, and now I can finish from that position, okay? So this is just a mouse trap. Essentially, I'm going here, 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 and then just switching my hands as I go, okay? Make sure you're using your head to pin it if you need it. Got it? Let's go, one, two, three. Okay, I'll posture up and I can just finish with that. And I can do the same thing from here. This week's word of the week is love. What kind of things or who do we love? Yes, sir. Uh, sometimes I love Ryder, Carter, and my mom, and my sister named Brooke. You know who else we should love? Ourselves. You are special and you should love yourself. No, no. Yes, you are. No. Crisscross Marco. No. Guys, you know why? Why? If you're hungry, look at me. If you're hungry and you want food, and I have food, you're gonna ask me for food, right? But if you already have food, will you ask me for food? Do you need my food? No, you already have it. Do you understand? So if you have love already for yourself, do you need mine? No. no. You can get it, but you don't need it. Do you understand the difference? Yeah. So it's important that you love yourself, okay? Because you are special.